Hello and welcome to For the Clarity and Closure of the Viewers' Comments. I'm just going to say a few brief things before we begin. Number one, when you choose to comment on my YouTube channel, there are terms and conditions, there are rules that you must follow. It's my house. I expect you to follow the rules. If you don't, your comment probably will not be published. Also, I ask that you be honorable and graceful, i.e. respectful of everyone here. Please don't go around telling people what they should or shouldn't do. And if you come here making claims, making claims about this or that or the third or something that's happened to you or whatever, having to do with grammar or courts or whatever, you better be able to certify your correct sentence structure knowledge because this is a correct sentence structure channel and I am going to call you to the carpet on it if you start making claims about something that you perhaps don't know what you're talking about. It's very important for the safety of the vessel. If you have closure on correct sentence structure, you should be able to provide that proof like that on the spot. So keep that in mind. The energy you bring here, I will return. I will balance it out with rule one, rule equal. So without further ado, let's get to the comments. So right off the bat here, we're going to get into some interesting TikTok comments here. And this is a series that was written by someone named DWG on Earth. So it starts off, I do agree a bit. Hopefully you're teaching a top degrading everyone. Maybe you don't realize how condescending you sound. Let's talk privately so I can hopefully change my opinion so far. Every video, video you try to teach while bashing and disagreeing, every freaking video, DM me. That's funny, okay? As I can show you, you know, these comments are definitely proof that TikTok commenters are way different than YouTube commenters. The YouTube commenters, the major the vast majority of commenters on my YouTube channel don't react to my personality in this way. But I will find I do find that a lot of the TikTokers will react this way to me. Um, and if you go to the TikTok, I mean it's up to you. I can't say whether I come off that way or not. That's this individual's opinion of the way I sound, that's their stuff, not my stuff to say how they feel about it. But I definitely didn't set out to bash anyone or condescend anyone. What happened was, was on TikTok, I was talking about what certifies a fact, how you do that, how you make that list, check all the boxes and apply that across the board. And then people like DWG on Earth would come on and talk about God, how you can't see God, you can't see, you know, things like that, or talk about black holes. And so the commenters were bringing topics into the mix. Now the channel is about correct sentence structure. It's not about God, it's about not about black holes or anything like that. But these people are bringing those topics in, so now I'm addressing these topics through the lens of correct sentence structure and then all of a sudden as you can see here this, this is the way they react to me showing them well you you really can't certify what a god is one person said well you can't see propane or wind either and i said well if you and i are in the same space we can certify that if you hook a propane tank up to a grill and turn it on you can turn the grill on it, that's how it works. That whatever's in there, that gas, you can certify what it is. You can prove it. Wind, you can see the after effects of a windstorm, so on and so forth. Is it the same thing if you hook up a tank of God to the propane? Does it come on if you if if uh, a God storm comes through and the trees are down? Do you say it's a God storm or do you say it's a wind storm? Do you see what I'm saying? There there's steps to take here. There's boxes to tick off. But, you know, certain people like DWG on Earth, because I think it has to do, this is a guess on my part, with cognitive dissonance, really. When you challenge someone's deeply held belief, they become offended by it. They take it as you're bashing them. That's how cemented in these people are to their beliefs. But anyways, let's continue here. So they say, DM me, let's talk privately. Again, the thing with TikTokers is that 
and I know that probably none of them will watch this video. They don't read, or they don't listen to the video very thoroughly because the same as here on TikTok, I tell people, if you want to have a conversation about this, if you want to apply for a workshop, email me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. I say it ad nauseum. Email me. That's the correct venue for that. A comments field on TikTok is not an efficient location to get closure on anything. But then you get people saying things like, DM me. I'm not going to DM anybody. There's going to be no DMs. What I'm saying is it's not going to happen. It's got to happen on my terms, not your terms. If you want to talk to me, you can comment like this gentleman did. Or you can email me. To, you know, I'll set up a consultation. It's that simple. But they don't really pay attention to the videos that close to hear that part. Or maybe they don't listen to the video the whole way through. And most of my videos are three minutes or less. So maybe they don't listen to the whole video. I don't know. TikTok is a completely different type of venue than YouTube. SPC, did you become a beneficiary of the tr of the large trust? Are you in control now? If so, are you helping homeless? You never know who you're bashing. I have no idea what they're going into right there as far as beneficiary of the large trust. Trust, that, that's fiction system talk. Um, so I wouldn't address something like that anyways because it doesn't have anything to do with correct sentence structure. I want to argue with you because all you care about is subscribers. How much are you making off them? in this time if you are a steward then you are a I guess this comment must have came before this one but uh they said they want to argue with me and I told them that no argument can there can be no argument when the facts are present the only time that argument happens is when there's opinions that's why people argue about the Bible and interpretations of the Bible because there's no closure there's, it's all opinion adverb verb adjective pronoun nonsense all you care about is subscribers. That's not necessarily true, although I have said that one of my goals is to get a thousand subscribers so that I can go live with other TikTokers and bring correct sentence structure to that platform. At this time, I, and this, I don't think this individual knows anything about monetization of, of TikTok platform. My TikTok platform is not monetized at this point. However, as soon as I have the opportunity to do so, I certainly will. Uh, for the performance of, and maintenance of rule one, rule equal. But uh, it's not monetized at this time, no. I don't have a, enough subscribers. Although I'm about, I think, seven or 800. Or I'm sorry, I'm about, I'm less than 100 subscribers away from 1,000. So it's it's been going fast. I'm pretty happy about that. Oh, great for you. Now we are in reality and all coming together to help humanity. Are you a steward of your vessel? Well, yes. Yes, I am. And I'm very glad that you're happy, DWG. That's awesome. You don't want war, but we are the biggest one in history. Please wake up. Really help someone. Okay, I'm gone. God bless you, please. <laughs> I, I don't know if you're talking to me or if you're talking to God or what, what you're talking about. Because uh, I'm definitely not sleeping. Um, and it's a subtle psychological condition of state as far as war and participating with war. Uh, it is, to an extent, very true that you do create your own reality. You do create your own domain, your own biosphere by the way you think. And if you're thinking about war and being a warrior, then war is what you're going to get. And so far, I've had none. I used to, but I don't anymore because I stopped and corrected the way that I think when I navigate my vessel. And... But this individual would know if they were serious about learning it, they would get a hold of me and we'd have a consultation and they'd learn from themselves. But really, they're not there, I don't think, to learn the grammar. They're just there to argue. They're just there to, you know, do social media type of behaviors where you just try and mitigate with people, argue with people, force people to, to participate with your opinions because you're right and they're wrong. And, and if they disagree with you, then they're bashing you. And, you know, it's that old chestnut. The old, the old social media behavior, learned behavior. Next comment comes from Dominic D'Angelo, and they say, as if it is a slight blow, instead of saying, hey, stupid, what's the matter? Can't learn quantum grammar to the public. 
My guess is he's speaking somewhat in code. You technically need an authorization to utilize it in specific fields. Oh, he's talking, I think he's talking about either David Wynn Miller or Russell J. Gould. But I would say that their Dominic is not correct at all because I've used it in many fields and been successful with it. Uh, I don't think, number one, Dominic knows what authorization is. He doesn't know what it means to be an author because he's not a correct sentence structure, communication, parsi, syntax, grammar author. He doesn't know the grammar. So therefore, that is going to inform the rest of what he's saying here. I guarantee it. Let's read the rest of the comment. Just like how there are laws around quoting a movie out in public, you don't need permission. Be nice if you ask, but you don't have to. On YouTube, showing a three-minute clip of that movie and bam, copyright strike. I believe they may have announced that to slow down their own supporters. You are your own author or authority if you possess knowledge of correct sentence structure. I stand corrected. He, he seems to know what an author is, so I don't know why... He contradicted himself by saying the the stuff he just said up there. And it doesn't have anything to do with a fiction concept like a movie. Okay, correct sentence structure is a grammar technology. And in order to use it, to be authorized to use it, you must be an author of it. Doesn't mean you created it, just means you have to know how to use it. And Along those lines, if you look at Russell J. Gould's grammar, if you look at David Wynn Miller's grammar, you will find in their public examples there are mistakes, multiple errors on every page, whether it's David's book, David's website, whether it's Russell's websites, Russell's documents, right down to the flag that Russell uses with the modification of the finale on top of it, of the spear being at war with the papal. So... I'm not sure. I, I, Dominic sounds, to me, sounds a little bit confused here. Next comment comes from RDPD, and they say, It seems to me the founder of something should be correct about his own invention, so to speak. Well, that's fair. Otherwise, it's just a prototype. It seems like David Wynn Miller has invented the prototype of correct sentence structure for the people to optimize to perfection. I remember that David said in one of his seminars that people could use his technology and bring their knowledge and skills to the table to perfect the technology. Respect be upon the man who brought this technology to the public. Also, much respect for the true tutor, Jason Matthew Glass. Uh, well, thank you very much for those kind words. I appreciate that. And, um... Yeah, I do not disagree with the above part of what uh, RDPD said about David creating, invented the prototype of it. Although I don't know if David invented it or not. I don't know that. Can't say for sure. The man's not here to verify that. Uh, but I can say he did bring it to the public and it makes sense that it would be a prototype. And I do remember hearing him inviting people to come in to use it and help perfect it. I do remember that. So thanks for the comment. Next comment comes from Isaac Thomas Seeley, a member. Thank you for your membership, Isaac. And they say, David Wynn Miller's book has errors throughout. Russell J. Gould has yet to prove that he can syntax, nor has he proven to be competent in producing a correct sentence structure communications document. I admire David Wynn Miller for introducing and discovering this technology, but their seminars are not congruent with the tangible work they have both produced. Their seminars are not congruent with the tangible work they both produced. Um, I don't know if I agree with that particular one, because if you look at the seminars very closely, you will find that there are contradictions within the seminars themselves. With what David explains is correct sentence structure concatenate. Well, I call it concatenation, but what he describes is the, the sequencing of positionals and the way he sequences positionals later on in seminars. It's it's not congruent. So there are contradictions not only for with the tangible documents, but also within the videos themselves. I don't like to be presumptuous as I like to uphold the principles of this technology, but in this case I will. Dave Wynn Miller and Russell G. Gould have been corrupted. I have reasonable suspicion to make this claim based on the state of cognitive dissonance ex exuded 
from both of these parties. Thank you for shedding light upon these matters in most recent times, Jason. You're welcome. And you're also welcome to your opinion, Isaac, uh, as far as there being corruption going on there. That is, like you said, a huge presumption. And that's definitely not one that I participate with. Because I, it's all, like you said, it's all, you know, basically circumstantial evidence and no clear concrete evidence so i wouldn't myself wouldn't go so far as to to make a presumption like that thanks for the comment next comment comes from anton ransom and they say permission from whom might i ask oh and this has to do with the video where i talked about the video that was published by i think it was russell j gould that uh he was being interviewed interviewed by Rachel Dara Prince and they basically were saying that you need permission to exist in the now space is what they were saying and a little history behind that video um, history that I a little birdie told me that originally it was supposed to be Winifred Adams Rachel Dara Prince and Russell J Gould and in that context right before they were about to go live with the video Rachel Dara Prince told Winifred Adams that she wanted full control of the video that Winifred you know because originally it was supposed to be uh, Winifred's thing Winifred was going to interview them and then she was going to publish it on her channel and she was going to have I guess equal parts control of it but Rachel said no I'm taking full control of it and Winifred said bye and thus Winifred was not on the original video then I guess they did the video with Rachel and Russell and then later on down the line I guess Russell or Russell's people edited it so that Rachel's not even in the video anymore I guess for damage control but you know, hey little extra bonus for you there from the little birdies so then love says can you explain a little more about why it's not positive and I said, it's author authoritarianism compared with autonomy. Which would you prefer? So it's just the old fiction system uh, trick or ploy to try and get you to think that you need permission to exist. You need permission to breathe. You need permission to walk around. You need permission to have a certain number of people in your house. You need permission not to wear a face diaper on your face. You need permission to be able to travel. You need permission for this. You need permission to exist in the now space. You need authorization. <laughs> it really is funny when you think about it. It's the whole concept that the settlers brought to North America or that uh, the crown brought to Europe. The same thing happened in Europe to the Europeans that happened to the, the Americas where you had the crown basically a religious type organization conquering the natives subjugating them forcing religion down their throats trying to force them to give up their own culture introducing land ownership introducing interest introducing all these different concepts of you know God Jesus and things like that onto a people that already had their own culture and forcing them to participate with it same thing happened in the Americas the Native Americans the First Nations didn't participate with owning land such an idea would be repugnant to someone like that but the settlers brought that and so this Russell J Gould thing about having authorization to exist in the now space is just more of the same BS another comment from member Isaac Thomas Seeley and they say great tutorial on both correct positionals and syntax and then Love says, so excited about this information. Awesome. Glad that you uh, gained some knowledge cultivation from those videos. And that, of course, is the main function of the over 600 videos on this channel. To teach those who are interested in learning correct sentence structure, who, for whatever reason, choose not to apply for workshops and just want to learn by themselves. It's all here for you if you want to learn it. Thank you. And this comment comes from the channel making life brighter and it's a comment on a live stream that I did where I was looking at 
a post that was made that, and my, by the way, Making Life Brighter is Winifred Adams. And I'll show you a screenshot of it. I will blow it up. Actually, I think I will add it to the screen here. So what they did is Making Life Brighter posted a post in brackets where someone was saying about they found out the chief about the chief in July 2020, blah, 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 blah. And this is all in brackets. And then at the bottom, it says for the gratitude. No credit was given as to who was speaking. So because other posts on her community section, it's her speaking. I logically deduced that it was her speaking in this paragraph that she does not say this a viewer sent me this she doesn't say anything like that there's no clue as to who the author is or who it's about so because all the other posts were about her I figured this one was about her so I did a live stream talking about you know it blows my mind that somebody would that, that has known Russell J Gould since July of 2020 you know, they don't know the grammar. They don't know how to navigate in and out of ports and foreign vessels and dry dock. They don't know flag mechanics. They don't know how to post the roads. I just, it just boggled my mind. And then they send this comment. That is a listener's post, dear. And then I answer back, LOL, whatever you say, your condescension is also duly noted. Using the word dear, you still didn't publish my comment, which I did comment on it, and I offered to teach whoever it was, what they wanted to know, if they emailed me at my email address, but she did not publish the comment, as opposed to me publishing her comment. Uh, you still show no evidence of knowing correct sentence structure. You can call me Jason, but I doubt you will. If you ever feel like learning correct sentence structure, contact me, Jason Matthew G, to apply for a workshop. Go Jolly. And that Go Jolly was kind of a a little punchline because that's what she always says you know these people over there in the Russell J Gould uh, cult follower section they will take a word with an ly at the end and they'll just put an i on it and then they think it's okay well we can use the word now because we put an i there instead of a y so that's why I did that but of course she didn't write back and she didn't email me so and I don't expect to hear from her because I'm sure she won't respond and I'm sure I've been blocked from her channel but thanks for the comment and the condescension I got a good chuckle out of that next comment comes from Sean Daniel Taylor and they say if no one sees the enormous value in your work then honestly who needs it true if they don't see value in it then they don't need it I agree 100% with you the only people that need it are the people that put value in it but I don't know what that last sentence means at all Thanks for the membership, Sean. Next comment comes from Dynasty Mind Slayer, and they say, I thought there weren't any cheat codes, but this video is like an open book test. Hope we all pass. There has been some open book tests that are still hard to pass, but this ain't it. I hope. Well, it, I don't... I mean, I see what your point there. That That's how someone who doesn't have closure on grammar, who is a beginner, and who's knowledge of correct sentence structure is theoretical, how they would respond to it, perhaps. Uh, but it's definitely not a test. This is like a video textbook, very simple, of how to syntax a sentence. There's definitely no cheat code. It is what it is. It's knowledge cultivation in its purest, rawest form given to you on my channel, as per usual, since February of 2018. Thank you for the comment, Dynasty Mindslayer. Next comment comes from Dennis Thompson, and they say, Hello, Jason. It is so frustrating just myself being a third party knowing that men that call themselves teacher, trainers, etc. within the law, legal, government, grammar, symbols, styles, codes, matrix cannot keep themselves level-headed or fix mistakes made by themselves in video talks, etc. David equals great grammar, great person, great storyteller, a lot of right facts, but... Some little off balance, maybe. That's a very generous assessment. Russell, under David, Russell was always 
hmm, trying to communicate strength, but couldn't bring it home to viewers. There was a very old young Russell video. He overweight, etc. He's overweight. Well, let's. Wow. I'm not sure why, what that has to do with anything, Dennis, whether someone's overweight or underweight by your judgment. But okay. Whew. See, okay, I got to address that. That's one thing I don't do. I make extreme efforts not to judge people by their appearance or, or make it personal about someone. I try to stick to the grammar and I try to stick to performances related to that grammar. To go in and say something like that with my position is something I would never do and it's completely unnecessary and get in sticking to the grammar but you know that's the way pretty much everybody navigates on earth especially on TikTok but sometimes on YouTube it's it's the old ad hominem thing it's the old uh, passive aggressive type type stuff but, uh, then I went wow this man has some think but now Russell seems to not do grammar postal etc nothing like before more like a person he shouldn't be and mark haha ha, he does know a lot well again that's a very generous uh, assessment I don't know where he might have gotten it but at start he was good each time I questioned him or others within group I never got an answer his grammar is weak his grammar is virtually non-existent but other stuff I still believe is strong, but I haven't seen his stuff after YouTube kicked him. Now it's your turn for my wrath. LOL. Well, your words are fact. Others don't like from my weakness in grammar. You are on power with David. Problem is you teach grammar. Well, not your problem. LOL. Their problem. And I've never seen you honestly contaminate wrong within your own videos or talking about it here and in YouTube land. That is cool. You talk hard, straight, fact, fact, fact. I hope the creator has given David all the answers he didn't know and the power to tell the ones he should have. I thank Russell, Mark, as they help me find answers, hints, codes, etc. Maybe they all trying to cover as much as they all have human holes and systems teaching, but all are man at some point, and I hope trying their best. But you, ha, you teach grammar only, and I believe and know you don't change or change once a better, truer fact found with mind, within mind system. But know you are a man, you rock, and please don't hold back your facts. Hold all accountable within grammar. Thank you. Ha. Seriously, thank you. Dennis Michael. P.S. I used to write Michael, but you showed me all equal. Oh, he means lowercase m. So thanks. Well, you're welcome, and thanks for that uh, thoughtful comment and sharing your thoughts. Taking the time to write all that out. Share your thoughts. Thanks for your kind words and your wrath. Another comment from Dominic D'Angelo, and they say, I have a solution, very easy, just need assistance in recovering a video camera from Pinellas Sheriff's before it is erased. Please, any assistance is appreciated. Meet with PD this week, going to get an update from his PI attempts. My next move is filing a internal affairs and FOIA. Unsure what order those should be done. I don't want the tape be erased. I have no idea what this guy is talking about here. And they're speaking as if I would know. Um, I don't think Dominic has really watched any videos of mine. Because if he did, he would know, number one, this is not the correct venue for, I mean, if he wants to vent or air out about personal problems, this is not the place to do it. This is a place where knowledge cultivation of the viewer is happening with regards to correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar um, if he wants to learn the grammar there is one venue well there's two venues for that this youtube channel that he's on if he would bother to watch the videos and the second venue would be jason g 17 at gmail.com where you can contact me for a confidential consultation uh, but i don't know why he would this has nothing to do with anything I'm doing here, and I know nothing about it. And it sounds like it's all fiction BS anyway. So, Dominic, um, please watch the videos so you can know exactly 
what venue you are in and what the terms and conditions of said venue are. Oh boy, another one from Dominic. And he says, I hear you. My thought is every human needs authorization. In other words, every human needs to be an author to operate in the now space. There is a level of competency to comprehend the now space and prove you can transport your vessel safely. They need to pay one way or the other. Either have assistance through tutor or buying pre-witten claim of the live life, along with other various contracts. RJG does say you can create your own, as you did. Actually, I have to correct this for a moment here, in that RJG used to say you could create your own, but he does not say that anymore. And as evidenced by the most recent videos he's put out, um, and it's gone to the point of you don't need three witnesses anymore. You just need his autograph and thumbprint on your document, even though he's never witnessed you, never seen you. But you have to send in your fiction passport. You have to send in your fiction driving license and other fiction documents. So it's just like another government fiction agency. Um, I mean, and if that's your thing, if that's what you like, cool. But if you, your thing is also getting a live life claim with incorrect grammar on it, well, good luck, because you're going to need it. Then it takes the knowledge to operate in situations such as a courtroom, which someone who brought the papers versus learning the grammar can find themselves in trouble. They lack knowledge to be an author. If we introduce this to everyone immediately, it would create chaos. It has been introduced to everyone immediately, because the immediacy is what the now space is. I've been on YouTube for over five plus years. There are over 600 videos. It has been introduced. I don't know what people are talking about when they're saying, oh, you know, it, they kind of treat it like the old uh, alien agenda. Well, if we would introduce, you know, tell the, if the government tells the society about aliens, they would freak out. Oh my God, they'd be so scared. They couldn't handle it. It's a nanny state mentality, Dominic. It's assuming that humanity are basically children and that this certain set of people have designated themselves as the parents and they determine what the masses can know or not know. It's also a very Masonic way of thinking of things. All right, if you read the Morals and Dogma, that's the same type of mentality. It's a very authoritarian type of construct. It's definitely not rule one, rule equal. Yes. Um, I filter and monitor what my children learn, but when someone's an adult, they can learn whatever they want to learn. It's not up to me to tell an, another adult what they should or shouldn't do. No one has that position, not even RJG. That's why I say author, they really need to be a clerk or above, you don't know what you don't know. When you were born, you do not comprehend what the now space is. You do in terms of the world in front of you, but we all know it gets deeper. A toddler can't tell you one plus two equals three and vice versa. Oh, a toddler can definitely grasp that concept. If they have three toys and you take one away, trust me, they're going to know they're missing one. So I disagree with you there. You don't need permission to exist. I would say there is a mental aptitude many adults are unable to reach to be able to safe operate in a now space, courtroom specifically. Am I missing it? And he is going full NWO, major reset. This way the world turns over slowly enough top down. It's the same mentality as, is this where we want to be when Jesus comes back? You know, it's the, the thing. Correctness is coming. It's like, we need to slowly change. Things are slow enough as it is, okay? Things move slow anyways, basically. So there's, there's no worries about that. Everything is as it ought to be. That's the way I look at it. There's plenty of now space to get the closure that you want. There's no need to slow it. There's no need to hurry it. It is what it is. But Dominic, you would know that if you would actually learn the grammar. See, you're just investing all this energy in sharing your opinion, which I appreciate you coming on my channel and doing that, but I'm not publishing these comments because they have nothing to do with grammar. Absolutely, literally nothing to do with grammar. 
And to me, everything to do with the nanny state, everything to do with an authoritarian construct, it's like you're sort of showing yourself to be an RJD supporter in a down low way, trying to make excuses for the guy, trying to say, well, he's holding it back for the good of all mankind, because if he would just release it, then it would be chaos. Who cares? Maybe chaos is what we need. Who are you to say? You see what I'm saying? Uh, it's, I'm appealing to your sense of logic, not your sense of authoritarianism. If you truly believe that everyone is a free thinker and everyone can be their own author, then you would see this. So, I mean, it's up to you. I hear you at the end saying you have to pay to eat, pay to live, etc. I mean, we went through a tumultuous time and we have a hard enemy. We need money. I can't see him canceling all debts and us surviving. Who's him? If you mean Russell J. Gould, Russell J. Gould has been at this for many, many, many years. He's been making claims for many, many years that he closed the Supreme, he closed the courts, he shut down the Pentagon, he disqualified the postal system. But guess what? The court down the street still open, been open, never closed. The UPU is still open. Mail still comes and goes. All these things. If he really did what he says he did, you would see it, but you don't see it. So you have to make up your own mind as to what you want to participate with. And you can see the proof in, in many cults throughout history where people decided to participate with a different view of reality, and you can see what it got them. Like the Jonestown thing, which actually, it definitely had to do with a cult, but it also had to do with CIA and government. Same thing with Heaven's Gate. Same thing with uh, Waco. There's all kind of questionable stuff, and guess what? There is a alphabet agency involved in it in some way shape or form i'm not saying there is an rjg i'm just saying i can't see him canceling all debts and us surviving if this is an indication of taxes coming and other government bs being used as a passive to gain more money because cost to change our global or u.s system i'm more worried that is what this could elude to What this could elude to. I, I see what they're saying. They're, you know, through the, the grammar and stuff like that. But again, they're talking about fiction stuff. And if they would learn the grammar, they would gain a completely new perspective on it. And I don't think they would be worried. But it is what it is. You know, people like Dominic are going to do Dominic things. You know, they're going to keep doing this and, you know, speculating and getting involved in these conspiracies and these types of theoretical scenarios until they decide to put their back to the millstone and learn the damn grammar. That's the be-all end of it. Learn the grammar or continue to do stuff like this. Um, bottom line. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. That about does it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like and I'll do the same and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. If you'd like to support the channel, click on the join button underneath this video there are two tiers of membership uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public once again thank you for watching hit the subscribe button hit the like button turn the notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my premieres because i do post on a very consistent basis there are over 500 correct sentence structure videos for you to study on this channel my gift to you my fellow mankind thank you again and i'll see you in the next one